Hey guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before. This video is going to be on my Scentsy stash. It is not a haul, it is a stash because this has been built up over time. One of my all-time favorite things is for somebody to come into my house, whether they're visiting or if it's a maintenance guy from housing or whatever, just to come in my house and say, wow, your house smells awesome. It just, it makes me feel really great because there is a lot of times where I am worried because I have this little man over here who's passed out right now and I have the two girls and I always am worried, even though we're not dirty, but I'm worried that it might smell like dog or it smell, smell like kids or whatever. But I am always so very happy that most of the comments that I get are that my house smells awesome. And that is because mostly of either Scentsy or Yankee Candle. First, I wanna show you guys around the house and show you all the warmers and the night lights that I have around here. This is Shaylin's nightlight in her bedroom. She picked it out when I had my Scentsy party a while back. Um, it says, you are my sunshine. I'm gonna turn it on. Looks really nice when it's turned on. She uses this as one of her main nightlights in her room when she goes to sleep. I don't know exactly what combination of what she has in here because she likes to put in whatever she wants and not tell me about it. But um, I don't think it even smells much anymore because I haven't changed it out lately. This is my nightlight for my bedroom. It's in the vanity area of my room. Um, it's one of my favorites, which is why it's up here. Sorry about the crappy military housing. I don't even know. But um, it's got sweet cucumber in it right now. And this is what it looks like turned on. And this is the last nightlight that is upstairs. It's Cora's nightlight. I believe that it is also sweet cucumber in it. This is what it looks like on. This is my nightlight for my kitchen. I think it has coconut lemongrass in it. And this is what it looks like. Ooh. Turned on. This is my warmer for my downstairs bathroom. Shaylin picked it out. Anybody that knows her, that would be obvious because she's obsessed with mermaids. Um, it's one of the higher end ones because it's the base and then the lamp part and then the um, wax goes in a little glass cup. I am warming, I think sweet cucumber again actually. Um, and this is what it looks like turned off. This is my main warmer. I have it in the entrance area to my house over by the dining room and the living room. It is just a top part where you put the wax. The light bulb is inside. It's plugged into the wall. And I am warming coconut cotton. And this is my last warmer. It's an elements warmer, I think it's called, which means that there's no light. It's just the top part which holds the wax and then this part is plugged into the wall but it's a heating pad not a heating pad like a heat hot plate that melts the wax I almost like this better sometimes because I don't always like the light from the light bulbs so this you still get the wax smell um, from the warming and not the light I am also warming coconut cotton in this one as well First, I wanted to show you where I keep my Scentsy stash. Um, there's the warmer that I was talking about. That's my main warmer. Front door, so as soon as you get in, you get the really cool scent. Um, my Scentsy stash is right there in this bin, which I'll show you now. And here is my Scentsy stash, which I will go through the scents with you now. Okay, so we're going to go through my Scentsy stash. Um, I have divided them into scents that I absolutely love. I have one, two, three, four, five or six scents that I absolutely love. I have a pile of stuff that I have a so-called love-hate relationship with, which I'll explain with you, explain to you in a minute. I have a pile of stuff that I do like, that I do use, 
semi-often, but not enough to probably buy them again. And then I have a pile of stuff I don't really like, which is also a pile of stuff that somebody else bought. They didn't like, so they gave to me, and I don't really like. I'm going to start with my number one absolute favorite. Coconut flower. It is a spring and summer scent. Um, I don't even know how to describe this, which if you had watched my Yankee Candle haul video, I suck at describing scents. This is just one of my favorite smells of all time in anything. Candles, wax, body sprays, anything. I absolutely love coconut anything and this is just I love it. I warm it more than anything else and every time anybody comes into my house they always remark how much they like it. Now this one I have 10 bars. I have 10 bars of this. Before you go ahead and think that I'm crazy, there's a reason I have 10 bars and I actually have three more bars on order um, through another consultant. The reason why I have 13 bars in total, I think it's 13, I don't think there's any more upstairs, is that this is a spring and summer scent and I don't know if it's going to be back next year and it is my, like I said, all time number one favorite scent of all times that I've ever smelled and I don't want to not have it. So I stocked up on it. My next favorite scent is this. Sweet Cucumber, which I think you could probably guess by the fact that it was in most of my warmers here. Um, this is also a spring and summer scent, so I have three right now. I think I have one up in my bedroom in like my drawers. And then I just placed an order for three more bars because it will be going away soon to be replaced by the fall and winter scents and I wanted to make sure I had this. Once again, I don't know if this is something that's going to come back next year. So although I don't like it as much as coconut flower, I do still absolutely love it. I warm it in my bedroom because it makes my bedroom smell really nice. It's not very strong. It smells like cucumber, but it's a little bit florally. It's, I don't know, it just smells clean to me. So now this is the scent that made me fall in love with Scentsy. When I first placed my first big order, I ordered a whole bunch of different bars. I think I ordered 12 or 13 different scents, something like that. And um, there were some that I liked, some that I didn't like because they do smell different when you smell them in the pack versus when you smell them when they're warming. But this one just, it's coconut lemongrass. It smells exactly like a lemon Italian ice. Like, it's, ugh. I like warming this in my kitchen because it kind of neutralizes kitchen smells. You know, you have like, if you fried something, you have the fryer smell, or if you made sauce, it smells like sauce, but then it just kind of gets old after a while, or if you have something in the garbage, whatever, it neutralizes all the smells, which is awesome. Um, and it just, it smells really nice. They have it in the, the car things too that I've had, you know, the things that you hang off the mirror. I think they're called car bars or something circles. I don't know, but I've gotten a couple of those too and made my car smell absolutely amazing as well. I only have three of these right now, but these are one of the scents that's always around. So I'm not too concerned about only having a couple of them. Next is a scent that I actually just found out today by searching around when I was ordering my coconut flower and my sweet cucumber that I don't think they even have anymore, which I'm glad is that I got them when I did. Um, I got them when I did my Scentsy party a couple months back. I think I did it in like February, March, April, something like that. And I got most of these either for free, half off something, but there was a discount and they were the scents of the month. So I think it was April. Um, this is Pear Blossom Cucumber. I don't think it's around anymore, which I'm surprised that because it smells really great. It smells like Bath and Body Works Cucumber Melon, like the old school from the 90s Cucumber Melon. I have four bars of these and now that I know from today that they don't make them anymore, at least I don't think they make them anymore, I'm gonna have to ask. Um, these are definitely gold. This is another one of my favorites. Um, it is 
coconut flour. This is what I have warming in my living room and my dining room right now. It is very similar to coconut flour, which is why I think I love both of them. Um, but it is different enough to have both of them in stock. It smells coconutty and almost like a laundry smell, which would explain the cotton. Once again, I'm absolutely terrible at this. All I know is that it smells really, really pretty. And the same thing with coconut flour. When people walk in my house, they say that my house smells amazing. I have four of these. I think these are one of the ones that just stay around the whole time. I got initially got, I think, one of these when I first ordered my first order of Scentsy in January. And since then, whenever I've placed orders, I've gotten a bar or two here or there. It's always been there. I don't think it's a spring or summer scent. So I should be good with this. Last on my favorites list is Wild Watermelon. This, I think they call it a kid scent. It smells just like Watermelon Jolly Ranchers. Just like Watermelon Jolly Ranchers. If you watched my Yankee Candle haul video, I had mentioned we got a watermelon scent candle. I absolutely love watermelon. I love eating watermelon. I love watermelon scents. I love watermelon candy and ices and sorbets and whatever. So watermelon is number one. Now I'm going to go to my list of three things that are my love-hate scents. First one I'm going to do is Thunderstorm. Thunderstorm, my friend and consultant, um, recommended to me because she knew that I liked some of the manlier cologne scents. Like with Yankee Candle, I really, really love Midsummer's Night. So she recommended this to me when she came over and bought over all the testers so that I could sit down and smell them. She bought over, I believe it's actually this main warmer that I have right here, or it could be the Elements one, I don't remember which one it was. But she bought it over and she plugged it in right over here and put it on my dining room table and it started warming. She put Thunderstorm in there and it started warming while we were smelling all the other scents and I fell in love with it. So I ordered a couple bars of it. And it's one of those things that it really just depends on the day. I can't tell you what it is. Some days I really like it. Some days it just kind of smells soapy to me. But then there's other days where I absolutely love it and it smells, it's almost like Axe a little bit, like the Axe body spray mixed with a flower shop, like a florist. Not any particular flower, but like a whole flower shop as a whole. That's the best description I can give. Next is another spring and summer scent, which I don't really mind the fact that it's going away, but I still have a love and hate relationship with it, but I still have almost a whole bar of it. And it's Mystic Magnolia. Shaylin loves this one. I love this one some days. Um, it smells just like Magnolia. It's got a really, really pretty smell. This is actually the first tester I ever smelled when I smelled all of the ones for spring and summer. And I fell in love with it immediately. I even remember the first time I smelled it. But, um, it's very, very, very strong, very potent. So I just, I guess I have to be in the mood for it that day because if I'm not 100% in the mood for it, it just kind of smacks me in the face and then I just turn it off. And then my third love it or hate it is Lemon Verbena. It's very, very, very similar to Coconut Lemongrass. So similar, in fact, that I pick Coconut Lemongrass over it. However, it's a little bit more planty, if that even makes sense. It smells like just plants, like not grass, but just how a leaf would smell almost. It's just I'm terrible, terrible at this, but it really does. It smells like a lemon Italian ice, just like the coconut lemongrass does, but just a little bit added. And I really do love it sometimes, but then there's, like I said, sometimes it's just not what I want. There was another one that I was loving and hating at the same time and it was I think it was called Fresh Cut Daisies. I had a few of them. I warmed all of them and then that was that. It smelled just like a daisy. Daisies are my favorite flower but um, it was very 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 strong. I find with floral 
smells they're almost too strong for me and it's just I love the smell but then it just gets overpowering and I can't have it in my house and these two are what I call my bathroom scents I use these in the bathrooms they kind of neutralize the odors make it smell nice make it smell almost like a man which is a nice smell I love men's cologne smells this one is Davenport see I only have one cube left this one smells I think this was the one that smells like Abercrombie and Fitch. Yeah, this smells like Abercrombie and Fitch when you walk past it. So it's a nice smell. It's not too strong, not too overpowering, but it gets the job done. It makes my bathroom smell fresh and clean. And then this one is Dark Harbor. Same idea, manly cologne, soapy smell, but completely different than Davenport. It's almost like a shaving cream, like a scented shaving cream smell. Now I have four left, which are four bars that one of my friends gave me that she ordered. She used, you know, half or three quarters of them, and she didn't really like them, so she gave them to me, or whatever the case may be. But the four are Highway Run, which I have not used yet. I don't even know. It smells kind of like a car, not a new car smell, like... The leather and the plastic and the electronic, it just, Matt might like it because it smells like a car, if that makes any sense. Next is Cotton Candy Cookie. This one is, I believe, a spring and summer scent as well. I warmed one cube of it and I kind of just stopped because it doesn't really have a smell or a scent. You can smell it in here, but then when you warm it, you can't really smell anything at all, so it's just kind of... Next is Cactus Flower Lime. Yeah, Cactus Flower Lime. This, I believe, is a spring and summer scent as well, so this is going away too. I have not used this yet. Um, whatever is gone is what my friend used. It smells like plant. It smells like if you walk into a gardening store or a nursery or, you know, the, the garden department of Home Depot or Lowe's. That's kind of what it smells like. So, and then next I have two bars of cedar cider. It's a nice smell. It's very Christmassy, sort of. So I think I might burn this for Christmas. Shailen used one cube of it in her bedroom. It's pretty strong but I think it might have only been super strong because it's in her bedroom which is smaller than obviously you know the downstairs here is pretty open but I think this might be a good thing to warm for Christmas so that was my Scentsy stash I am not a consultant however I do have a couple of friends who are so if you have any questions or comments or want to order or whatever feel free to put a comment or message me or whatever and I can point you in the right direction um, I know just for this last week or so, they're having a sale for all the spring and summer scents, like the ones that I just showed you that I like. So if you want to try any of them or if you want to order any of them, those you have to get before September, I believe. And then in September, all the fall and winter stuff is coming out. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, feel free to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, throw a comment, message me, whatever. And... I hope you liked it. Have a good night, guys. Bye.